looks like a steam train. You read the signs. Oh, 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 that's too much. Hello YouTube. Well, we finally found a camper for our truck, the Grey Ghost. The camper was located in Yucca Valley, California, about 250 miles from our home here in Las Vegas. It's a 2006 Lance 1055 Lite. It's in good shape, lacking a few things, such as a stereo system and a TV. It also has no onboard generator, but it does have solar panels on the roof. It's lacking an outside shower, which we hope to add on in the future. Well, we left early in the morning and it took about four hours to get there. We took the back way through the desolate high desert, a lot of scenic driving and a winding two-lane road. Just before we arrived, the truck threw a check engine light. I kept on driving because it seemed to still be running okay and all the temperature gauges were reading normal levels. Okay, we're on our way to Yucca Valley, California to buy a camper now. Yeah, and it will be like a very long trip, I guess, maybe four to five hours. Yeah, we found a Lance model 1055 light. We're going to pay 11000 for it. And, and bring it back. Are we sure that it will be our new home? Or we'll see. We'll see. We have to inspect it closely first to make sure there's no damage from uh, water leaks or punctures, anything like that. This is the two-lane desert road on the way to Yucca Valley. We're taking the back roads because the freeway is too crowded and it's, the road is really tore up and bumpy over there. And this was not too much better, but at least there's no traffic. Kelso Depot. One. See my row. We have to turn right here.
That's too much. Stopped at an auto zone and had the check engine code read. It indicated a bad exhaust and turbo. This is an expensive repair and we were very far from home. It was still running well so we decided to go for it. The truck sat level under the weight of the camper but we had no tie downs. So we stopped at a Home Depot and purchased some chains and turnbuckles to rig up a temporary hold down setup. decided to head to Barstow and use the Interstate Freeway home rather than retrace our way through the desert. We were doing okay the first 50 miles or so, and then the truck lost power and started bucking and missing, especially going uphill. I slowed it way down and turned on the emergency blinkers. It was a long, hard trip going home like this, but eventually we made it and we got our rig parked and safe here at our apartment complex in Las Vegas. The following week, we took it to our shop, Battleborn Diesel. Corey and his crew did a great job of replacing the turbo and gave me a great deal on the parts and labor. The truck is running really well now. Uh, we plan to shake it out some more before we hit the road for good. On the way there, we averaged 15 and a half miles per gallon. On the way back with the weight of the camper and the broken turbo, it dropped down to 11.6. I will keep you updated on the new mileage numbers now that the turbo is fixed. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.